three. And I've got my final cluster of three to do just at the end here. So working into that small space. What have I got? Where are we? There it is. One. And two and three. There we go. So it's all into that stitch. Focus the camera. Yep, there we go. Then skipping that stitch just there, we're working into the last three just along. So double crochets into the last three stitches. One and two and three. So yeah, you might be tempted to do something with that stitch just there, but don't. Just do your cluster just there of three and then move straight onto the three double crochets into the last three stitches. So that completes row three. Now row four, we're going to, once again, chain up two, turn the work, turn the work, grab some more yarn and then put in our three double crochets at the beginning, so <coughs> sorry, working into the first stitch, double crochet, so one, two, and three, there we go. Now, and what we do after we've done our first three double crochets for row four, again trying not to break things, we chain three, so one, two, three, and straight from that chain of three, we're going to be putting our six, well, double crocheting our six, do six double crochets together, so one, remember how we do it, one and two and three and then skipping that single crochet there we move on to the next one and four, five and six and there we go, and you've got seven loops on the hook so there's, there's six stitches plus that chain then you yarn over pull through all seven of those loops and then from there you chain seven so one two three four five six seven and then you move on to double crocheting your next six stitches together so straight from that chain it's one two three skipping that single crochet four, five, and six, and then yarn over and through all seven loops. Then once again chain seven and just work like that all the way down to the end where you're going to chain another three and complete your, not drop things, but complete your three double crochets for the end of the round. But I'll meet you back at the end and we'll We'll do it together. Alright, and here I am at the end of row, row, row four. And to finish this row, we chain three. Chain three, so one, two, and three. And then put our three final double crochets into the last three stitches. So one, and two. And final three. There we go. And that's row four. And that's what it's going to start to look like. Alright, now we're going to do row five. And this is going to be the final row of the pattern. So after this you'll just be doing repeats of, well, repeats of rows two through to five. So we'll do row five together. Well, show you how to do row five which is chaining up two turning and we're going to put in our three double crochets again to those first three stitches so 
one and two and three. Now, from here, what you're going to do is you're going to put your three double crochets, chain one, and another three double crochets straight into that small space just there. So straight from that last double crochet you've done into that small space is one and two and three double crochets, chain one then another three double crochets into that same small space. One, two, and three. There we go. And then, like the last time we did this, we put our single crochet into the second, that chain space from the second last row. So that small space just there. So single crochet around that larger chain sort of holds that larger chain in place and then moving on to that next small, small space is three double crochets one and two three chain one and another three double crochets into that small space one two two, three, and then again we single crochet into that chain space from the second last row, working around that larger chain, or holding in place that larger chain, and just moving on through the rest of the row like that. Uh, three double crochets, chain one, another three into that space that holds the, the uh, other six double crochets underneath single crochet into that chain space around that larger chain. Do that to the end of the row. I'll meet back up with you and yeah, I mean we'll talk about where to go from there, but from here it's it's really very straightforward. But yeah, see you soon. Alright, here I am at the end of row five and I've completed the end of my last cluster stitch just there. Now I'm just gonna put double crochets straight into those last three stitches. One two and three. There we go, and that's the end of row five. So that's what that's going to look like at the moment. Let's try and... yeah. So yeah, that's the pattern. That's how it's emerging. So what you do from here is you just complete, um, or you do repetitions of rows two through to five and just keep doing that until you've grown the body or you've grown the singlet to the length that you want it to be. So I'm going to go away and I'm, keep, I'm going to keep doing that. And then I'll meet back up with you and I'll show you how to join. So the reason I've done the double crochets, the three double crochets on each end of, of the rows is because it look, it's going to look neater when I join it. I tried to, I tried to do it before with just without the double crochets and it wasn't neat when I joined it, so yeah, that's why. All right, I just thought I'd add that. All right, so we've just got that to complete. Take your time, have have fun, and we'll meet back up. And yeah, we'll go from there. See you soon. Okay, now that I've crocheted the body to a length that I'm happy with, I'm going to fold it in half with the wrong side facing outwards. So this is the wrong side. And you can easily tell by the pattern which is the wrong side and which is the right side. So this is the wrong side, and then on the inside there is the right side. The wrong side looks a bit more squiggly. Alright, so I'm going to crochet the back together. And to do that, you can do it any way you want. You can use a needle. I'm just going to crochet it because I've actually lost both of my darning needles. So, out of necessity, I'm just going to crochet it together. And the reason I've done the double crochets at either end of this pattern is so that it looks neater and it's easier to crochet the back together like this. And so what I do is I just put two stitches into each row end. So I find the very last stitch at the end just there and I'm going to go into the last stitch just to make it neater. And then grabbing that, the 
the final stitches there, pull it through. And yeah, I'm just, I go twice into each row end. And just to make it really, really even and really, really neat. So I count that one as the first stitch. So that first row end just there. And then pull that through. Then into the next. See, there's sort of two parts to every row end. I don't know whether you can see that. Just there. There's one there and one there. So try and do that. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that all the way to the end. And then once I finish that, I'll meet back up with you and we'll talk about how to do the straps. I've actually decided that I'm going to nice edge on the bottom of this with this lovely blue colour that I found, which is the same same yarn but a different colour, which is nice. Um, and I'm also going to make a skirt, so using these two colours, which is going to be awesome. I'm really looking forward to that. So I'll make a tutorial for that as well, coming up shortly. Alright, so I'll leave you to sew up the back any way that you can or any way that you want to. Um, yeah, like I said, I just, I'm doing this because... I lost my darning needle. Both of my darning needles. Alright. So, see you soon. Alright, now that I've sewn up the back, so that's what that looks like, and I've marked out some areas where I want to put the straps, so just as evenly as I possibly could, um, front and back, which is actually quite easy because of these ridges. You can sort of mark out where you want to put them, and it'll be quite even, which is good. And I've done one of the straps just here, as you can see. So that's what they're going to look like at the end. Alright, now, so, I'll be starting at the back and finding the end of my yarn. I'm going to make a slip knot. And at the back just here, I'm going to begin going in around that single crochet. So, let's see if I can just... So there's that single crochet, is just there. Show you. Just there. So I'm going to go in around that to begin with. And what I'm going to do is put my hook through the side just there. I hope you can see this. I'm going to tilt the camera down a little more. Yeah, just like that. Okay. So there is the single crochet just there. And I'm going in around this side to begin with. Then I've made a slip knot and I'm adjusting that slip knot to the hook. Pull it through there just like that. And for me, what I've done is I've chained a length of 60. Because what we're going to do is we're going to double back and we're going to slip stitch our way back along that chain once we've attached it to the front. So I'm going to go away and I'm going to chain my 60. So that's chaining 1, 2, 3. So for me it's 60. Alright, there is my length of 60. 60 chains just off that the middle of those two ridges there around that single crochet now what I'm going to do is on the front just here I've marked out the top of a ridge because that corresponds quite nicely with the back just there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into that chain space where we normally go in with our single crochet <clears throat> and I'm just going to I'm going to go in holding up like that, go in and I'm slip stitching just straight into the chain just like that and then sort of turning to the side like this bring our yarn over here and we can actually take out that marker just there and I'm going to, picking up the yarn just here make sure it's turned to the braided side Hang on. try and angle this so you can see properly and all I'm doing from here is slip stitching back down along the chain. So you can see just there, hopefully, there's the chain that we're in. So next chain along, slip stitch, <coughs> slip stitch. And it's really just as simple as that. That's all I'm doing. Like this, slip stitching our way back along. There you go. Just keep in mind as well, when you do your chain, you might want to try it on 
um, as you go because when you start slip stitching to go back in the other direction it kind of pulls together like it's like the same with the uh, harlequin stitch it brings it together so that it's not as it's not the length that you initially wanted it to be it reduces the length of the chain so you're going to have to keep that in mind when you're doing this so you'll probably need to do more of a chain than the length you actually want it to be but yeah just try it on as you go and see how it goes so yeah slip stitch all the way back to the other end i'm going to meet you back at the other end and we'll, we'll, we'll just tie it off um yeah I'll see, okay i'll see you back at the other end now here i am back down the other end of the chain and i'm just going to slip stitch into the other side of that single crochet just there so just into the slip stitching like that and then so we got slip stitch onto the other side and now I'm just going to yarn over and pull through that stitch I'm finding my little scissors I'm going to trim the yarn just there there we go and just pull through and secure it by tightening just like that and there is that strap oh, no, that's fine. yes there is the strap and then you've all finished and all you do is you weave in your ends so we go here I've got some ends just there make sure you're weaving them in on the wrong side so they're not visible on the right side um, I'm gonna go away and I'm gonna put the edging on this um, I don't think I, I don't really you don't need to do it um, but if you do, just make sure you're doing it with the right side facing. So, yeah, that's all. I'm going to go away, do that. Then we'll come back. We'll, I'll try on my singlet. We'll see how it looks. You can try yours on. You'll see how it looks. I'm sure it's going to look fabulous. This is a really cute design. Um, I'm really happy with it. Yeah. So, um, I'll see you soon. All right. Here it is all finished. Um, I'm really happy with this design, although I think it probably could have been a little bit longer. Also, this skirt, I'll be making this skirt for my next tutorial. Uh, and it's going to be a little bit different. Because you can see I've done that lacing down the side, but I think I'm going to scratch that idea and do something else. Because, honestly, it doesn't stay up all that well. But that's okay. So, you know, something else to think about. Anyway. Um, yeah, I really love this. I'll definitely be getting some more of this type of yarn and making more of these singlets for this summer because I really love the design. Um, yes, okay, well, uh, I hope that you like this design. I hope you've made a lovely singlet and I'll see you for the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.